you for tuning in to Auto E-Clinic. My name is Aaron, and this is Mike. Welcome to today's special popped collar edition of Auto E-Clinic. What we have in the shop today is another Chrysler, of course. Uh, it's got a check engine light, failed inspection, so we're going to dig into it, find out what's wrong, and see if we can't get him back on the road. Hey. <laughs> okay, we have a P0456, which is an evaporative emission system leak detected, very small leak. Let's find out what that code means. Okay, on the P0456, the code cannot set unless the fuel level is below 88% fuel and the temperature ambient is between 39 and 109 degrees Fahrenheit. The possible causes are an evaporative leak somewhere. Most commonly, with the age of the vehicle, the vehicle is now eight years old, most commonly what I see is just a faulty gas cap, not sealing properly. In order for us to test the system, we need to use a chemical smoke machine and inject a chemical smoke into the evaporative emission system, closing off the vent valve and the purge valve to see if we have any leaks coming from the fuel tank, the fuel cap, the vent valve or the purge valve, incorrect operation. But most likely we're gonna be dealing with the fuel cap. So let's smoke it and see what we have. Let's smoke it, man. We hooked our smoke machine into the line, the evap line that runs the throttle body. The evap line runs from the fuel tank to the purge valve and then into the throttle body and that's where we have our smoke machine connected to. Right now we are commanding the purge valve on and off. The purge valve burns the fuel vapor into the engine that was not released into the atmosphere. Now you can see our scan tool is commanding it on and off at 25% back to 0%. And you can see we have flow and no flow. Flow and no flow. So this tells us right here our purge valve is working properly. Let's go to the next step. Okay, now we have bypassed our purge valve. Now we're just going directly back into the fuel tank and the vent valve is open now. So now we're gonna raise the vehicle up, close off the vent valve and then recheck it for leaks. You can see we have constant flow right now so smoke is just being ejected into the system. We're gonna raise it up, get to the vent valve, shut it off and then see what kind of leaks we have from there. Okay, you can see our smoke coming out of our vapor canister. And as you can see, this vapor canner is actually cracked. The hoses, clamps were cracked or broken, and the canister itself is cracked and pushed in. So that is definitely where our leak is coming from. So it looks like we replace the vapor canister and retest. <laughs> 